Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are solving another lead code problem that is 1834 single threaded CPU. I would highly recommend you should read the problem statement on your own and give at least 15 to 30 minutes of your pure thinking to it because without that you will be not you will be not able to get why your solution failed, why not why, what was lacking, and you know what I am talking is. Uh, just seeing mindlessly the tutorials will not help you to build the intuition that's it let's get right into it what problem is asking you are given task and in task you are given nq time and the process time nq time is the time at which the process arrives at the cpu to be processed and processing time is the time taken to process that task and while deciding the task which has to be processed we have to take the shortest processing time and if the conflict arises in that two tasks have same time of process then we will take the task which is at lesser index meaning if we have task at 0th index and 1th index so we will take the task which is present at 0th index and also to know you can process one task at one time because it is a single threaded CPU. So, two things to observe. First thing is NQ time. Second is process time. And sorry, also, what problem is asking us to do is the order in which we have to process this why order is important because in any order we can do but why cpu is created because we want to process thing in shortest time so in order to process thing in shortest time you need to have a look over these two things because these two things decide if we are able to process this these given tasks in shortest time or not so first thing first nq time so this is the basic one the first one to arrive will get uh, executed firstly so there is no way brainer the process not the process the task which arrives first will be processed at first so in order to have task in order to have task in sorted manner because we need smaller smaller task with smaller nq time at at first so how to do that we have to have sorted it according to the nq time in the increasing order fashion and what about the processing time as we have discussed while taking the task processing time is also an important parameter so how to deal with process time this can also be this can be dealt with sorting because we need shortest time shortest processing time but in order but the problem is the set on which we want to have shortest time is keep keeps on changing so the more probable choice would be priority queue priority queue because using that we can easily enter the required element and see for ourselves not the element required task and see for this ourselves if it is the shortest time or not because in priority queue if it is a min heap the minimum will appear at the top if it is a, a max heap the max will appear at the top that much is clear and also in c++ i know that if for example these are the two tasks and a1 a2 are equal so the priority will be decided according to b1 b2 so second so the other point is or, or it, it is also taken care that if both tasks have same nq time then we it will be processed 
then it will be processed according to the index this also hints what we will be having in our priority queue is the process time comma index this much is also clear in which type of priority queue we will be using is min heap because in both the cases if these two are different we need smallest process time if this this is equal still the index should be smaller this much is clear this much is also clear why nq time nq time is need to be sorted because the task which appear first should be processed first that's it and in order to be sure that's why we are sorting it in the increasing order you may see that in the test case it is in the increasing order but in the problem it is written nowhere that it will be sorted so to process the task faster you need to process the task which appear first that's much is clear same is the algo first is we will sort according according to the nq time nq time and second is priority queue pq of min heap why min heap i have already discussed it min heap and type and it will have values like uh, process time why process time this is no brainer index y index this is also no brainer discussed already then what happens next is we will start iterating over this let me write we'll start iterate over the tasks we will take simultaneously our test case to have a better understanding this is already sorted as you can see iterate over the task when the first task appear just take if priority queue is empty priority queue is empty then this happens when this will happen when the very first task appears or in the mid that the cpu became idle it processed some tasks but the nq time of other process was very large so priority queue obviously will become empty so you understand first case is this when there is a large nq time appear or it is just initial initial so what to do at that time is take max of time here the time is the time up to which we can process for example first process appear at 0 not 0 at 1 its process time is 2 so that time will start from 1 and for how much time it will be running is for how much time the CPU run is T3 now t becomes 2 not 2 plus 2 3 now during this time if some th some appear with nq time 2 comma 4 2 comma 6 hope you get this because this is a concept of os if you if you have studied it it is the time of running of cpu and during that time some task may appear so that's it and the task what is i comma zero why i comma zero because it is the starting because time will start always from here 
and the process time will be added that much is clear and what will happen other time is now we have our time we know at what time the processing is started so now comes the priority queue how we gonna fill that priority queue that is the question priority queue will be filled only when the cpu has run enough time so that these tasks have appeared i have taken an example for example first task appeared at one and it takes a processing time of two now at time is equals to three two processes have arrived so how to implement this thinking is this thinking and also these two should be put inside the priority queue so how to implement this thinking that one task appears it takes the processing time now t is equals to three while t is equals to three which processes appeared and and among the, those processes which we have to get the process which has less processing time and we have to do it over and over again over the area of task or the vector of task so what it will be when the time that we have calculated over here the time should be greater than the task i comma zero y zero the nq time just insert and also increase that i because new things are also to be inserted what we will do now this task is completed we have filled these two inside now what to do we have to do a plus two what we will do is pop this out because no longer needed before popping it we have to increase this pq top dot whatever second or if you take an vector one value to it pq dot pop and that's it and we will just keep on iterating iterating and also also what uh, problem required is output array how the task are this not this is not second this is this will be zero and in we will declare a ordered order array not order array vector vector int order and just we will when we pop before popping it we will just order dot push back for second top or second it will be first sorry my bad process time has to be added not second is our index this has to be taken care so i hope you got the algorithm what i am trying to do is is i am not writing again sort according to the nq time priority of process and index why process and index already discussed take the take your time register your time at which the first process appeared or the process again the process appeared again process appeared when this condition happen is a long nq time and when this also happen when it is a initial initial and how to insert those while this process has completed and insert those new task is using this if time time what is the time it is three it is three so while doing this how many of has nq time less than three or 
in other words time is greater than 3 you will just insert them increase and while and what we are doing is over here is we just when we pop something we put their index inside and also increase our process time like this 1 plus 2 3 and just pop it and this process goal goes on and on I hope you got the intuition I'll go slash code type because it is a quite a concept you need to know OS so oh, it is a OS concept if you have some knowledge of Kent chart it is in the PPC dueling method it is taught if you have some idea about it then it would be much much easier if you have any doubt you can also ask in comment section because I have taken the uh, approach like that you know how CPU works that shouldn't be a problem basically what we are doing is I should give you a overview is is that we get the NQ time and using that NQ time we decide that at this time the process the CPU starts and at this this is the end and this is the start the process start we put that end to that time for example this was the s and t becomes t dash and t becomes t dash t dash t dash is s plus e and y at this at this particular time when t is equals to t dash which process appeared before cpu these process appeared before cpu now which process we would be selecting to process further is the one which has less process time if the process time is conflicting we will take the one which has smaller index that's it that's it what the code is the whole code is just implementing this take time take the start time process the process it add the process time to it and see which tasks are present to the cpu at this time while while finding that insert those tasks in the priority queue why to get the task which has less process time and also in the conflict which has less index why priority you already told and that's it for the solution no sorry for the algo this is the code this is type def we do in order to write less pair int comma int again and again this is min heap this is, these are basic variable time time this variable is very crucial because this decide at at what time the task have, have appeared for example it is like clock it is like clock by it just runs and it shows which process now can be entered for example the clock not the clock for example a task runs from this duration for example we work yeah it is a better example if we work from one o'clock to three o'clock then whichever task will appear will appear in this we will try to do them same is with the cpu this time the cpu start executing this is the end not the end but time at which this the process which started ended then only the next process will begin so in the meantime in the meantime these two process appear so to have this we you we are using time variable to find out these two tasks which have appeared 
to the CPU for processing the basic sorting. The what we are doing over here is the yeah we are making index inside the task only because it is given int vector we can have it inside the priority queue also but nonetheless not priority queue we need in this inside the priority queue it would be have been difficult so that's why we just inserted right beside them the index at what index they have, they are appearing because when we sort them na the, these will get shuffled so that's why i have attached their index with them because uh, of their original location where they first appeared because we we want to give the order order so order will be like original original order will be relative to the original so we have attached the air index over here just sorting the main part happens over here while i is less than n basic we can only iterate over this much length if this is exhausted and something is still inside the pq because we have to execute every task this this execute whenever the new task appear or a long nq uh, long after a long time uh, or i can say a long nq time task appears then also this happens because during that time all the pending tasks would have been executed so pq will be empty i have discussed it much if you still don't understand you can look into the video again or what else can i say dry run it still i less than n because we cannot go overboard and this i have also told it time which time is whichever task have appeared during the moment where the task one the initial task which was executed so to get that those tasks we are doing just simple iteration over this task uh, vector and just putting them inside the priority queue increasing the index because we have to process next next task and what we are doing over here is is this is a syntax basic syntax to get what is present inside the priority queue without declaring explicitly one thing so pro is processing time index is index we pop it we pop it and we increase it to the time we start with time was started from s and we have to update it to s plus e so the s plus e happens over here and also we have discussed while we pop it out of the priority queue it means it has been executed and it has to be present inside the order and we just resend a return the answer let's submit it and see if it is running or not yeah it is running so i hope i was able to make you understand this problem and always and always keep grinding i may not have explained it as clearly as possible because there are some assumptions that i am taking you know being the computer science or even what can i say even some knowledge of cpu so see you in the next one bye bye if you have some doubt there is comment section you can comment also bye bye